If commercial property sales are anything to go by, Bermuda is bouncing back from the pandemic doldrums. Brian Medeiros, president and CEO of Caldwell Banker, said last year saw, quote, amazing sales figures, the highest in eight years. New buildings, the ones most attractive to international business, make up a small minority of available properties. But there's plenty of movement among local companies. Last year was incredibly buoyant. So we're aware and have been involved with many of these transactions of around $35 million worth of commercial property, which sold. And that number for the year is significantly higher than the annual numbers for the eight preceding years. So it was an amazing year. Um, There are approximately 60 commercial properties on the market for sale right now. So we have the inventory, nine of which are, are in the city. So who's buying? Much of the activity was accounted for by firms looking to expand or consolidate their operations. Mr. Madeira says there has also been a lot of interest from overseas investors lured by the Economic Investment Certificate, which opens the door to Bermudian status to those who invest heavily. Well, we're finding uh, small, medium-sized enterprises. Local companies are putting their hands up. Uh, They're looking to improve efficiencies in terms of their operational companies. They're looking to grow their operational companies. They're looking to house startups. Then we are seeing more investors coming into the market looking for commercial properties. And if it's priced right and it gives an acceptable yield, uh, we are definitely seeing an appetite in the local marketplace. The third group of buyers is an interesting one. Um, Not so much the traditional developer. There isn't a lot of appetite right now from the local consortiums or the local developers. Uh, These are groups who uh, are overseas. They're investment groups, they're family offices, they're traditional developers who are overseas, and they're actually looking at Bermuda as an opportunity in terms of developing some of our brownfield sites and some of the older buildings in the city. They're also exploring opportunities here in conjunction with the Economic Investment Certificate Initiative. We've seen quite a lot of that in the last six to nine months. So I'm grinning because that is starting to, we're starting to see some momentum and some really, really serious buyers asking some great questions. As an example of prime commercial real estate still up for grabs, Mr. Medeiros pointed to the Walker Arcade Calypso building, which has been in the hands of Bermudian families for centuries. Well, they're looking at the larger sites. So Walker Arcade, for example, uh, sits on 0.37 of an acre, about 38,000 square feet, practically fully let. These two properties have been in the same family structure since the early 1800s. So all of a sudden we're starting to see the economic means of production shift from these older families to newer groups.